thank you, Jesus. What is the land that was laid? We worship God, we bless Him, we glorify Him, we adore Him. He is faithful, He is great. Thank you, Jesus. You are the Lamb that was slain. We praise you, Yahweh. We praise you, Yahweh. We praise you, Yahweh. We praise you, Yahweh. We adore you. Thank you, Jesus, for all that you have done for us. The price that was paid. You were the Lamb that was slain for our sake. For us to receive freedom. For us to receive redemption. For us to receive power and honor in the name of Jesus. Worthy is the Lord. Worthy is our God. Worthy is our God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy One. Thank you, Faithful God. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. Mazua kole peli atanda gade. Nebri ase etanda gadozi apan deke du oli pen deke dia. Rata gada zekon de le pen deke du ozu akon de le pen deke di. Gaten deke du le pan de gazu ate. Nebri esuata rapa lia gade. Rata gade ke du le pen deke dozi. Eko de le pen de gede na bre esuata nda gadia. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus. Akaya ra ba 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 zakali atara na de gede zeke dia te mele esuata nda gado. Thank you Jesus. 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 Thank you Father. We worship you and bless you. We honor you. You are faithful, God. You are faithful, God. Thank you, Lord. Accept our thanksgiving. Accept our praise. There is no one like you. Yahweh. There is no one like you. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus.
bless you. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Happy Easter, everyone. Happy Easter. Jesus has conquered the grave. The power of death has been broken. The power of the grave has been broken. To God be the glory. Remember, we remember this day for the peace of God, for the love of God. The glory of the Lord is risen above every other name. Amen. Hi, everyone. Happy Easter. I wanted to go to church today. I couldn't go. Also, I wake up today very emotional. Feel very emotional today since I wake up. I was just crying, <laughs> crying the whole morning because I had a very powerful encounter today. I received a divine visitation, very powerful, that I wake up crying the whole morning. <laughs> you know, as I came here playing this song, worshiping God, I feel like crying. My TikTok is app that you cannot cry. <laughs> you have to, even if you feel like crying, you have to, you have to hold your your cry. <laughs> so I'm very, very careful. I hope your day shall be great. Today is a day of celebration restoration restoration breakthrough amen I had an uh, encounter this morning and um, I saw myself in a place like a crusade in that place I saw three servants of God that I know two of them and they called me out to pray for me and they asked me to kneel down and when I knelt down they put a, a treasure box a golden treasure box in my hand and a mic on top of the, the gold the mic on top of the, the gold and they make sure that it's really positioned in my hands and the three of them prayed for me they pray they pray they, that prayer they pray they all laid their hands on me and pray I knelt down receiving the prayer Hmm. Oh Father, the three people that came and did that impartation is God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Remember, in the dream, I I, I knew the two people, but I did not recognize the third person. We we know God. We know Jesus. The Holy Spirit is a spirit that we don't know, we've not seen. God came. God came. So after the prayer, I got up, I saw my, my sister and my mom, they were sitting at the stage, the back of the stage. So I told my sister, did you take a picture while they were praying for me? She said no. So my mom came out. Say, oh, rejoice, let me take the picture immediately. So she brought out her phone to take the picture of the three of us.
I was so happy. It's like it was as if like a graduation, a ministry, a mi- like a a school of ministers. And after that, they prayed and imparted a heavy anointing. The gold, the treasure box that contained gold, and the mic, that's treasures of heaven. And the mic is a voice that was given to me for the ministry. Amen. Today is the day three of our three days midnight prayer and fasting. God came. I wake up. I was just crying. Crying, crying, praying. Praying the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Spirit. Because when you think about everything, you just be, who, who am I? Who am I, Lord? Who am I for this heavy, heavy love? The impartations is heavy. It's heavy. If I tell you that it's heavy, it's very, very heavy. Very, very heavy. And again, what I remember in that dream, after they pray for me, one of the servants of God brought a plate. There was a food in it. And like he finished eating the food, the, the remaining food, he gave it to me. And I said, no, I'm not going to eat it. Because what I saw in the plate was like a, a leftover food. And I refused to take the plate and eat the food so when I refused he said yes the anointing upon your life is not to eat leftover you are not to I just remember that part now you are not to eat a leftover you see how you refuse this food that's how your spirit will refuse a leftover you have anointing of kinship anointing of authority and power you will not be left you will not be eat you you will not eat what have been eaten and left you will not eat from a table that people don't people have finished eating and left the remaining one for you no that's why the treasures of heaven be released in my hand and the mic is heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's too heavy. Praise God. It's good to pray so that hidden things will come to light. Amen. I have a, a scripture here. Today is a celebration of our Lord Jesus Christ that he has conquered the power of grave. He came out. He came out. Death could not hold him captive. the word of God in the book of Matthew 28 from verse 1 early on Sunday morning as the new day was dawning Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went out to visit the tomb sadly there was a great earthquake for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven rolled aside the stone and sat on it. Hmm. The angels of the Lord came where Jesus was buried and he rolled the stone. Amen. Remember yesterday I had a dream. God showed me a door, a very bright door. And I saw an angel standing beside the door. 
and her wings are flaming like a fire. The lights, her wings were flaming like a light. That was yesterday encounter that God gave me. His face shone like a lightning and his clothing was as white as snow. The guards shocked with fear when they saw him and they fell into a dead fence. Hmm. Some of the encounters when you, you have, you'll be, you'll be praying, Lord, give me encounter. Lord, give me encounter. And when the encounter comes, the fear that will grip you, you'll be shocked. Like I wake up this morning, I'm happy for that encounter I had today. But I'm just so emotional. I don't know, yeah, now I understand why I'm so emotional right now since I wake up. The anointing that I've received today is still on me. That's why I'm so emotional. The anointing is heavy. Amen. Please, when you are typing, thank you, Jesus, type capital, capital J, Jesus. The J is not, don't type it small letter, type it, the U have to be capital, J have to be capital, God bless you. Then the angel spoke to the woman, don't be afraid, he said, I know you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified, he isn't here. He is risen from the dead, just as he said will happen. Come, see where his body was laid. And now, go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead and he's going ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him there. Remember that I have told you. The, the Jesus you are looking for, he's not here anymore. He's not in the tomb anymore. He has risen. The same impartation I release to everyone that watching right now. What you are looking for, you could not find it. What you are looking for that was blocked that was covered is unblocked now it's uncovered now the power of the Holy Spirit has released it to your hands in the name of Jesus the dead has been risen he is risen he's no more in the tomb the power of God has brought him out. Praise the Lord, our God, our Savior. He is risen. And now go quickly and tell the world that the one that they have crucified, the one that they have killed, God has brought him back. He's the only one that died and resurrected the third day. He's the only one. He's the only one that went to death and came back to life. Praise the Lord. Tell the world that what was dead in your hand has come back to life. In the name of Jesus. The woman ran quickly from the tomb. They were very frightening, but also filled with a great joy. And they rushed to give the disciples the angel's message. The message. God has given us something so precious today. Today, the 31st of March, 2024, 
We have received something so pre- very precious that we have to hold it. Wow, a treasure of heaven. The resurrection power of our Lord Jesus Christ. The resurrection fire of our Lord Jesus Christ has brought us back to life once again in the name of Jesus. Praise God. And as they went, Jesus met them. I reverse it again. The woman ran quickly from the tomb. They were very frightened, but also filled with great joy. And they rushed to give the disciples the angel's message. As they went, Jesus met them and greeted them. Jesus met them and greeted them. Jesus met them and greeted them. That's your encounter. May you meet Jesus today. May you have your personal encounter with the Lord today in the name of Jesus. Then Jesus said to them, Don't be afraid. Go tell my brothers to leave for Galilee and they will see me. Divine direction. Don't be afraid. Anyone that have an encounter, there is a comfort. There is a joy. There is a special moment. Amen. There is a special moment. I wake up this morning very emotional, but again, I'm so happy inside me. That's why I don't know if anyone can remember. I said from that Friday to Sunday, If you can fast, even use one day to fast because I know what God said. God said, I will move in the midst. They that seek me, they shall find me. That's why when he gave us three days, midnight prayer and fasting, I did not play with it. All those three days, the encounters are just powerful. The encounters are so powerful, divine encounters, the settlements. Someone sent me a dream this morning. I prayed for her yesterday. And I told her, she said she can't, she used to dream. But when, when she, when she was starting having an account, she can't remember her dreams anymore. So yesterday I told her, you shall dream and remember your dreams. And all that was hidden shall be exposed this morning she sent me a dream powerful dream all that was hidden have god has shown her in her dream i i i interpreted your dream and sent it to you oh i gave her the scripture of daniel chapter 2 verse 22 and uh, uh, psalm 91 i said pray this pray pray this uh, scriptures every midnight before you sleep when you sleep your dream life shall be restored and God will show you what you need to know. Lord and behold, God has shown her what she needs to know. Praise God. Divine restoration. Her dream life being restored. Her dream life. Daddy, did you read the, the message I sent to you? You sent me a dream this morning. I replied the dream. Did you read it? The dream, so powerful, so powerful. God is doing something powerfully. God will do something powerful. God will do. Touch. I'm praying this morning. May the power of the Holy Ghost touch you in the name of Jesus. Labri asuatan de gedozi apa liagadiata. May you have encounters. May you have encounters. May you have. 
divine encounters in the name of Jesus. May you have divine encounters. Amen. Don't be afraid. Have hope in the Lord. Trust Him. There shall be a good result. There shall be a good report. This is the word I'm hearing for someone. There shall be a good report. The past is no longer your fear. The past will no longer be your fear. The presence will bring you a joy. Your past will no longer be a fear to threaten your future. In the name of Jesus. May the future bring you joy, peace, love. In the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 11. As the woman were on their way, some of the guards went into the city and told the leading priest what had happened. A meeting with the elders was called and they decided to give the soldiers a large ride. They told the soldiers, you must say, Jesus' disciples came during the night where they were sleeping and they, they stole his body. So, when the power of God resurrected Jesus and he left the tomb, this is a miracle that happened. A day came. And the guard around the tomb, the soldiers came to, to see if the body of our Lord Jesus Christ is still there, but he wasn't there. The miracle that took place confused the soldiers and, and they were saying that ah, maybe the, the followers of Jesus came to take his body. Because they, they are blind, they don't believe that God has the power and authority to do and do. Amen. <laughs> he has the power and authority to do what is impossible with men, but is possible with God. So they were blaming the disciples that they were the ones that stole their body, but not knowing. <laughs> The power of God has brought him out. You know, when I'm talking about this now, a message came to me. Listen, everyone listen to this message. At times, God allows situation to kill us. During our time of death, we become stronger. Situation, problem will kill you become nothing during your death of becoming nothing God molds you to become more powerful Jesus went through a lot during his death even the people that killed him could not rest they were still guiding in the tomb but during that time, when he was battling with death, God was preparing him to be stronger and he came back life stronger. When he came back, he conquered that grave. He conquered and many were set free. Many, including me, were set free. Were set free. died with Christ and I rose with him this this gave me another understanding through the uh, uh, another understanding of the dream that God gave me today one of the servants of God that I saw today that did the impartation on me one of them was my uh, my my former spiritual father that baptized me he baptized me that 
I received the gift of speaking in tongues. He really helped me. He really helped me nature me in the things of God. So when I'm talking about the death and the rising of our Lord Jesus Christ, today I received the impartation. I was dead through trials and tribulation. And I was risen with Jesus Christ and the treasures of heaven being placed in my hands. Well, the time I was I was being I was being I was going through a lot. It was as if I was dead. That's where he showed me the face of the man, the, the man of God. Because I remember he baptized me, he immunized me in water. That day, when he immunized me in water, I rose up full with the Holy Spirit, pray in the heavy tongues. According to him, he said that I nearly came out from his hand because the power of God came on me heavily. When we immunize deep in the water, we are buried with Christ. And when we rose from the water, we have risen with Christ. So the trouble, the tribulations make you die. And after you rose, you become stronger again. I don't know if you understand this. You become strong. You become strong. That's why many of times God tells us that He knows what we are going through. He knows what we are going through. And He always tells us, it's a preparation. It's a journey. It will all end one day. Yesterday I was watching a mo- I was watching a short clip. How the apostles, how all of them died. I, 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 I saw that short clip. How apostles, how they died. I say, these are the painful deaths. These are painful deaths that the people that work with Jesus closely, they went through a lot and their death was painful. And we that today, we've not even reached that, but we are always lamenting, complaining. This and this. That's why it's good to read the word of God. When you read the word of God, you will become in every storm. When you read and understand the word of God, you will become. Because what you are going through cannot compare to what Jesus went through and the disciples. Some of them were thrown in the hot oil. Some of them were uh, were stoned. To death, some of them were like it's it's horror. When you watch, it's like a horror movie. Painful deaths. We cannot compare what we are going through in presence to what they went through. This to tell you that calm down and serve God. Praise Him, worship Him, and He will help you, guide you. If we are so anxious, if we are so anxious, you will lose your focus on serving God. 
I have to look for that uh, video and share it on the WhatsApp group. They went through a lot. Jesus said, you will not give us a temptation that will be beyond what he went through. Your temptation will not be beyond what our Lord Jesus Christ went through. Amen. So the soldiers were confused. They don't know that the power of God has removed Jesus Christ from the tomb. So they were blaming the soldiers and said they are the one that removed him back. They were not the one. They were not the one. So they were also scared about the, the, the governor. He said, if the governor hear about us, we will stand up for you. So you won't get into trouble. So the disciples were told that they are not the one. But if the government, the governor hear about us, they will defend them that they are not the one. Verse 50 says, So the girls accepted the bribe and said that, and said what they were told to say. Their story spread widely among the Jews, and they still tell it to today. The wonders of God. Your story shall be spread what God has done in your life in the name of Jesus. Verse 16, I'm reading Matthew chapter 28, verse 16. Then the eleven disciples left for Galilee, going to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some of them doubted. Are we, do we spend time in God's presence for us to receive his direction? When Jesus was resurrected, the angels appeared to Mary and the other women, told them that, go and tell, they sent them as messengers, go and tell the disciples to meet me at Galilee. Tell them divine location. Tell them that this is where I will meet them. It's not because he cannot meet them where they gathered praying for him. Remember when Jesus Christ, when he was buried, the disciples gathered, they always pray. pray. They were in one accord, always praying. And another lesson also is, women are so caring. I don't know why. <laughs> women, men are caring as well, but women, why did God choose women to go and be the first to see this miracle? Today, generation, when you go to many churches, you see more women than men, isn't it? The heart of the heart of women are big. They think about others and do good to many. Men's hearts are, are narrow, like <laughs> straight. <laughs> Men think only in their boxes. Men think only in their boxes. But women think in their bosses and outside their bosses. <laughs> Man, if you are here, forgive me, but I'm just saying what I know. <laughs> I'm just saying what I know. If you know better, you can defend yourself. <laughs> women are the careers of God's glory. They've seen the they, they were the first person to hear the power of the resurrection. You women are the first to hear the power of the resurrection. And you are to move according to that direction. Women are honored by God himself. You are honored by God himself. 
you are not to be limited you are not to be condemned you are not to be removed from your rightful place women have a purpose in life men I will come back to you also women are anxious to see the right to be done the men at the rock they don't show their affection but they show their affection in their heart <laughs> They were there praying. They did not come out. That doesn't mean that they don't care about Jesus. They care. But it's just that they did not show it. But it's God that led the women to go and experience. Because Jesus came through a woman, isn't it? So that power has been given to a woman. That's why I've experienced something in, li in life. A mother's blessing is a heavy wall. A mother's blessing is a heavy wall. You came out from a woman. And when he speaks, and when she speak for you, the word shall stand because you are part of her. You are attached to her. Whatever that happens to you, it happens to her. That's why when she speak, it's an heavy oil. When Jesus being crucified, we watched the movie. Women were crying for him. Women were crying for him. But uh, I don't know if I can't remember, but tell me if I'm mistaken. Did you see any man crying? The only man that was crying was Judas because Satan he allowed Satan to use him to betray Jesus. But women were sharing tears for him. God see how desperate the women are because their savior had been taken away from them. That's why he allowed them to see the miracles and spread the news. Amen. And they were used as a messenger for others. So you that you are here and say women are not to preach. Okay. <laughs> that was a fake tears from Judas. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fake tears from Judas. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that comment just wake me. <laughs> that was a fake tears from Judas. <laughs> Oh, very interesting. <laughs> it's a tears of regret. <laughs> Judas' tears was a tears of regret. Yes. The same thing when your enemies harm you. They will share tears of regret in the name of Jesus and they will repent. <laughs> Someone say remorseful tears. <laughs> you, I don't want to laugh this morning. <laughs> it's a tears of regret. Mm. So you are powerful. You are powerful. Tell yourself this morning 
I am powerful. You are powerful. It's not a power that will make you to become proud. Mm -mm, the power that will make you to be humble. Amen? You are powerful to be humble to serve God. But you are not going to be powerful to be rude. To be proud. No. I am powerful to be humble. Like this morning I wake up crying. Cry. My cry is a humble cry to God. Say, Father, what you have given me is heavy. I wake up from that dream. It's like, it's, it's like, I went, I went for a ceremony and came back. That's how it was. Like, it feels so real. are powerful yeah I'm powerful to be humble to serve God God bless you all that type in it verse 18 Jesus came and told his disciples I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth therefore go and make disciples of all the nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit to teach those new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you and be sure of this I'm with you always even to the end of the earth as I'm reading the scripture remember in my dream today the three people the three servants of God that Im did the impartation on me three and one of the servants of God was the, the 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 man of God that baptized me hey the word of God is a spirit is power I I, I did not know that I'm coming to preach this message, Matthew 28 today. I did not know. But God already showed me the message in the dream. Jesus told the disciples, I have been given power and authority in heaven and on the earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity I received my new baptism of the Holy Spirit I have received my new baptism of the Holy Spirit this is a celebration They teach them, teach these new disciples to obey all the command I have given you and be sure of this. I'm with you always, even to the end of the age. God is with you until the end of your age. Till you die, that's what it means. going to pray with you right now say to the disciples all that I have taught you because there was a mic on top of the treasures that he has given me that was the power the voice to speak a voice to speak divine impartation just today Sunday Easter Sunday as I was saying the word of God is power. It's a spirit. What we are receiving this morning already took place in the realm of the spirit. That's why he showed me that. Today, 
this morning is an Easter Sunday morning. I wanted to go to church today, but I wake up the way I was. I said, I'm not going to church. Let me just spend time in God's presence this morning. Because he wants me to come and release this to you. That's why I came this morning. I could have been spending time with my family, but I said, go live and release this impartation on them. Many of you, as we pray, you are going to receive a fresh fire, fresh anointing, as you believe in the name of Jesus. The baptism of the Holy Spirit. We are going to pray. And make sure you are praying in the, in the Spirit as I pray. Father, according to your word in the book of Matthew 28, verse 18, Jesus came and told his disciples, I have been given all authority in heaven and on the earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Teach this new disciples to obey the commands I have given you and be sure of this I'm with you always even to the end of the earth Lord I use your word and I decree and declare upon the life of your children release your fresh fire I decree and declare the power of the resurrection the fire the fire of the Holy Spirit be released upon you in the name of Jesus. Fire of God. A new life, a new beginning as we decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Receive a fresh fire by the powerful name of Jesus. Rakate lepele ezuate nabri esuatanda gade reketo osia. Lord, I decree and declare ten our heart of stone to the heart of flesh right now in the name of Jesus we shall continue to test and hunger for you Lord by the powerful name of Jesus give us a voice give us a voice in the name of Jesus may we continue to obey you in the mighty name of Jesus I decree and declare everything that dead in your life begin to come back to life in the name of Jesus because Jesus have the power and authority he has conquered the powers of the grave in the name of Jesus therefore things are coming back to life in the mighty name of Jesus the light of God shine upon you. Receive it in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Your deliverance and restoration has taken place in Jesus' name. Amen. anointing in 
the name of Jesus. May the treasures of heaven be released unto you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. experience a great joy in the mighty name of Jesus and it is well with you praise God and it is well with you praise God amen wow hallelujah are we being blessed are we being blessed? Someone said that was powerful. I'm just yawning. Amen. Tell us your encounters. Tell us your encounters. Another powerful encounter is amen. Too much powerful. My teeth are hitting each other's. Even now, I can't talk. Another person, powerful prayers. I felt the fire on my body walls. We were praying. Amen. <laughs>
Amen. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain. Praise God. Amen. So today is our Easter Sunday service. I hope you are blessed. I hope you are blessed. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. So I'm going to stop here. The Lord bless you and cause his face to shine upon you, lift you from glory to glory, from victory to victory, by the powerful name of Jesus. God help me to download this uh, audio and put it on YouTube. So you can check on YouTube. If I'm able to download it, I will put it on YouTube. So those that join late can watch it on YouTube. You shall be blessed. Amen. Happy Resurrection Day to you as well. God bless everyone. May the resurrection power of our Lord Jesus Christ shall be evidence in our lives in the name of Jesus. You know, God love you and I love you as well. Nothing shall separate us from the love of God. This great love shall be shall be our evidence of his glory wherever we go we shall see the love of god through the people that surround us in amen don't be isolated don't be isolated okay don't isolate yourself those that you need to call today call them greet them wish them Forgive those that wrong you. Don't, don't be isolated. If you feel you are feeling lonely, message me. <laughs> hey, if I say this now, <laughs> if you feel today you are feeling lonely, you don't have anyone, you can message me. <laughs> you know why I'm laughing. <laughs> it is well. <laughs> you can message me. Yeah, forgive but be wise. Exactly. Forgive but be wise. Yes. So if you feel you are feeling lonely, no one, you know, mo most of the time, I remember when when, uh, when I was in Africa, Easter is a, is a celebration that families that even travel for many years, they come back. Oh, that you see people that you've not seen many years, you see them coming back. Is it the, the reason I'm laughing? Someone say, you will see my face. <laughs> you will see my message first. <laughs> May the Lord give us joy. Amen. May the Lord give us joy. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> it is well with us. Um, yes, uh, Easter celebration is a time of a uh, family unif. Is it unification? Is that the right word? Family union, unification. Yeah, you come together, celebrate together. It's good. It's good. So try and try and um, create happiness around you it's very very important there is someone here as i'm saying this the law said that um your s your s has forgiven you but you've not forgiven him reach out to him <laughs> reach out to him <laughs> uh, Mervy said that you are one of the million prophetess I have ever met. Oh, okay. All glory to God. All glory to God. So this prophet, uh, this prophetic word. This prophetic word um, is for someone. Say your S has forgiven. But you have not forgiven uh, him. 
reach out to him. God is about to do something. Reach out to him. I release the power of the Holy Ghost to go ahead of you. So that when you reach out to him, there shall be a peaceful talk. Forgiveness. There shall be a peaceful talk in the name of Jesus. Now that I want to go, people are joining. Now. God bless you that joining for the first time. God bless you all for joining for the first time. You are blessed. The Lord honor you. May this celebration of Easter bring, bring a new beginning in your life. All that died begin to come back to life in the name of Jesus. And there is someone here, I just heard this word, the, the shade, the covering on your eyes fall. The shade, the covering on your eyes fall right now in the name of Jesus. What was blocking your eyes for you not to see that good things in front of you? I command it to fall in the name of Jesus in the name of jesus god bless all the people that are watching for the first time may god honor you amen 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 glory hallelujah you know how much i love let me play this song once again this is a new song the man of god Eben has released today. I love his song. I always love his song. But I'm just praying that YouTube will not mute the video. But anyway, let me enjoy it. Even if they mute it, me, I've finished enjoying it.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We honor you, Lord. For you are great, you are wonderful, you are counselor, you are mighty God. Praises to you in the name of Jesus. Praises to you in the name of Jesus. Praises to you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, thank you for this day. Thank you for us to be alive, to witness another powerful resurrection celebration. We glorify you. Amen. Many were not alive to see this day, but you supported us, showed us, protect us for us to see the day. We glorify you. We glorify you. We glorify you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You know what I'm, I'm hearing now? I want you to celebrate this day. Leave everything aside. Just celebrate Jesus. Celebrate the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Amen. I'm going to post this uh, this song in the in the WhatsApp group for you to um, listen to it. You can worship today. I, I was saying that. If you wear your white, wear your white and take a, a picture of yourself, post it in the WhatsApp group. Let's celebrate each other, okay? Let me see your face today. It's a prophetic. Post your pictures wearing your white, post it in the WhatsApp group. Celebrate. I'll post this song also in the in the in the group use it and worship praise god it's powerful it's a prophetic song god bless you all i will see you but we'll continue chatting in the whatsapp group we'll be together as we are celebrating jesus amen and if i have time today again i will come live in the evening so god bless you i hope this service this morning bless you i hope you are blessed this morning so blessed even if you think you are not blessed I decree may you feel blessed and the windows of heaven be open and release abundance blessings upon you in the name of Jesus those that are going to church we'll see you after you come back from church God bless you all Shalom bye bye okay someone is sending gift so let me finish for her to send the gift God bless you for sending the gift God bless you God bless you Amen. Bye-bye.